After a long time, I am impressed by any model from NVIDIA. This model, Describe Anything or DAM3 Billion, enables you to describe any part or segment of an image locally by just pointing your mouse to it. We are going to install this model locally and I will show you how it works. This model, Describe Anything, is just 3 billion parameter which takes inputs of user-specified regions in the form of points, boxes, scribbles, masks within images and then generates detailed localized descriptions of images. DAM or Describe Anything integrates full image context within fine-grained local details using a new focal prompt and a localized vision backbone enhanced with gated cross attention. Model is only for non-commercial usage. That is, I believe the only bad thing about it is it would be great to have it in Apache too, but well. The architecture is transformer of course, and it uses vision transformer and llama. And as I said, it has got three billion parameters. So for the input type, you can even give it RGB image or binary mask plus 2D binary mask and 2D images, no 3D support at the moment. And then, uh, there are a lot of other things you can play around in terms of your images. Also, there is another flavor of this model which deals with video that I will be covering in another video. So let's get started. We are going to install it and we will see how it works. Let me also give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. This is my Ubuntu system, and this is my GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GP of VRAM. I'm starting by creating a virtual environment with Conda. And that is done. Next up, let's not only git clone the repo of describe anything, but also install everything from the root and this is going to take few minutes while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation and i will also drop the link to the website in video's description and it has successfully built the dam along with all the other dependencies. And everything is done. Let me now cd to the demo directory. Okay, it's sorry. I need to also go into the GitHub repo of this. So let's go into that. So I'm just going to git clone this and then I will cd into this. And now we can go to the demo directory. And from here, we can launch our Gradio demo, which is simply running the app.py. And the first time when we run it, it downloads the model too. And the size seems to be just under 6 gig. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. And now it is running on our local host. Let's access it in the browser. And I'm just accessing it in 7860, the Gradio port. And this is about describe anything model. Now let me show you the beauty of it. So for instance, I'll just select one image. So the image has been loaded and it has automatically created the embeddings or uh, numerical representation of it. I'm just going to select maybe this bin or something like that. And you see, as soon as I have clicked on it, it has given me the description that a round wooden table with a dark brown top and all that stuff. It's a very detailed description. So for instance, I'll just go and select this. Can I select this window? So I'm just hovering my mouse there and click. It takes a bit of a time. I'm clicking on different stuff. And there you go, it has given me the information about the window. Very nice. And you can copy the description, you can describe a 
new region so click on new region it has cleared it and then maybe i'll just click on this person so it has just selected the coat it says a smooth texture and a slightly loose fit very nice that's pretty cool okay i'll just say maybe i try a new image let me upload an image from my local system so i have just selected this image maybe i'll just uh, get this mobile phone there you go that is simply magic it says the cell phone has a sleek metallic silver black back with a smooth reflective surface the edges are rounded and there is a small circular camera lens this is the one this is very very accurate how good is that okay so maybe i'll just describe a new region can i select a human face any component on the human face or no okay so i'll just check this so it is describing the human very nice okay let's try out another image so i'm just going to maybe go with this and i'm just going to select this maybe flower here there you go a single fully bloomed white rose very nice let's check the vram consumption so it is consuming just close to 14 gig of vram not bad really for this accuracy okay this is pretty cool let's describe another region i'll go with this hair stuff yep this is hair clip with a textured ruffled design how good is that ornate embellishment featuring a circular motif and intricate detailing this is sublime really really good stuff okay let's try another image i'm just going to go with maybe this one okay so let's do maybe this it says a spherical crystal ball with a reflective surface wow and look at the description the language the flow simply amazing let's describe another region i just want to know what exactly that is so you see if you have your uh, photos from different you know trips you can just put it in and if you don't know about something you can do that too so really really good stuff okay so this is really good let's try maybe i'll try to identify a food so this is a image of gado gado an indonesian dish let's see if it is able to identify anything here can i do the whole stuff here or not okay i just just want to select everything it says it's a fried onion okay what about this thing maybe i'll say describe new region Yep, it's a bean curd. I just want to select everything. But I can't do that. So I can't select the whole image, would be nice, but that is fine. I mean, I can just select one or two things. Maybe let's do this. Yeah, it's a green bean, maybe celery. Okay, let's try out this one. Yep, a yellow egg yolk. So look, I can keep playing with it this is really impressive really really happy about uh, this new model from nvidia i think that is why i was saying i was really impressed this has got a real use case and the quality is so good size is just 3 billion maybe vram consumption touch high but still i think um, not bad at all given the accuracy of it as i said there is also a video version which i will be doing shortly so stay tuned and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching